Hampton man says police arrested him on felony charges for something he didn't do. Months later, the district attorney's office threw out his case along with dozens more. Because the officers involved are now charged with the death of Tyree Nichols. WRAG chief investigator Jessica oh, <laughs> Throw out all their cases, man. Let yeah. everybody see. Jesus Christ. <laughs> They never fail, man. Yeah. Gertler has been tracking this story for months and uncovers more records showing what cases were tossed. I was in jail two days. Those two days while locked inside a cell here at 201 Poplar, the various Rister says anger mounted. Last December. He did that shit. <laughs> Excuse me, what was his name? The various. <laughs> his name was he he did that shit. Yeah. <laughs> While locked inside a cell here at 201 Poplar, Devarius Rister says anger mounted. Last December, police handcuffed him for something he says he didn't do. Yeah, we were just hanging out on uh, Red Oak Street, just chilling. I, I really had just got dropped off. Rister says he was meeting a buddy that Thursday night in Binghampton when all of a sudden Memphis police pulled up. He says he tried to walk away. Well, where you going? I was like, I'm finna walk off because I ain't did nothing. He said, nah, come back with me and put me in the car. He admits he was scared. And I didn't tell me I was, I was so scared, I just got in the car. Rister says police found a stolen gun and pinned it on him. And he said, you... <laughs> they found a stolen gun and pinned it on him. Yeah, that's what the cops gonna do. Hey, we got a stolen gun. We were gonna pick this guy right here. Out of everybody rocking around Memphis, we're gonna pick you and pin the... Like, black people are so fucking stupid, man. I swear to God, man. They, you remember they used to say this back in the days, like cops used to trip. Yeah. I understand they had dirty cops. They used to, and, and I, I, I'm pretty sure that those dirty cops had a reason to, to, to like to frame some men, cause like these motherfuckers keep on getting out. Fuck that. We gotta, yeah. we gotta, <laughs> get away with yeah. <laughs> we gotta frame these motherfuckers, man. Damn, nigga. Yeah. keep these motherfuckers in jail. Fuck. And and I know there are dirty cops. We all know that. No one's saying there aren't dirty cops, but they're few and far between. And the cops in these neighborhoods, they cannot be like the, the same as the cops you'll meet at fucking Disneyland. Mm. They gotta be hard. They <laughs> gotta like they gotta like kind of like bend the rules and shit. And and you know on the edge that. Like, you know what I'm saying? They got to kind of like play on the edge. Yeah, all the way. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, man. As soon as he, as soon as the cop roll up, just listen to, listen to his, the sequence of events. Do. Yeah, we were just hanging out on uh, Red Oak Street, just chilling. I, I really had just got dropped off. Rister says he was meeting a buddy that Thursday night in Binghampton when all of a sudden Memphis police pulled up. He says he tried to walk away. Well, where you going? I was like, I'm finna walk off because I ain't did nothing. He said, nah, come back with me and put me in the car. He admits he was scared. And I didn't touch me. I was, I was so scared, I just got in the car. Rister says police found a stolen gun and pinned it on him. And he said, you finna get charged with this gun. How you gonna charge me with the gun? And there's three more other folks over here. But you just charged me. You ain't charged them, you just charged me. How did it happen? He was slapped He's with being a convicted felon in possession of a gun. Theft. Yeah, he's just trying to get off, man. He's trying nah. to, he's trying to get away. And that was his gun, too. Yeah, like, they just, they just rolled up and said, out of these four people, we put in on you. And he's walking uh, away. I mean, you ain't charged them, you just yeah. charged me. How did it happen? He was slapped with being a convicted felon in possession of a gun, theft and a marijuana charge. He says his brother had to find $4,000 to bond him out. Money, he says his brother didn't have. Go check the fingerprint and see that I touched his gun. They didn't want to do none of that. They, didn't, they just took me down for it and charged me with it. 20 days later, Rister saw some of the officers again, this time on the news, charged with killing Tyree Nichols during a traffic stop. And I said, I'm the same police officer that uh, put them fake gun charges on me and all the other stuff. WRG <laughs> investigators <laughs> uncovered criminal court records showing three of the five officers charged played a part in Rister's arrest. 
as well as four more MPD officers, all working a detail together that night as part of the Scorpion unit, a crime suppression team created to target gangs, drugs, and auto theft. The officers wrote their version of events in a sworn affidavit, claiming individuals were standing in the middle of the street. They heard a loud metal sound of something dropping into a trash bin. And when they looked, they found a stolen gun. They detained two men, Rister and his friend, for trying to walk away from it. Officers stated they also smelled an extremely strong marijuana odor from a nearby vehicle and arrested four people inside the car for drugs, including Art Horn's client. Very conflicting. I mean, basically, the pills were not found in her purse. She received a felony drug <laughs> The pills were not found in her purse. That does not stashed, sound convincing. She stashed them under the seat or some shit, or she tried to put them in the fucking you know, the side compartment where she sees the police stuff. Uh, and let all these people go, because Tyrese Nichols got killed. Okay. Yeah, they always do the Charged stupid shit. Disrupting her life. So Miss Williams had to have um, this case hanging over her head, um, had to go through background checks for her job and other things. Uh, while this case was pending. Good morning, everybody. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy says his office reviewed about 100 cases connected to the Scorpion unit and the officers charged with Nichols' death. It came down to credibility. Deputy DA Paul Hagerman explains. Are these officers needed as witnesses? Uh, and if they were, then those are cases that, you know, had to be dismissed. The district attorney's office says they lowered charges in about a dozen cases and dismissed nearly 40. Horn says his client's case was dismissed. Miss Williams was innocent, and fortunately, um, her case was dismissed. Um, the sad part is she did have to go through this for almost a year. So was Rister's. Really, I could have went to the federal penitentiary for some stuff I ain't even do. Some cases have <laughs> since been expunged, well, like meaning wiped right from the person's criminal record. Of the cases we were able to access, court records show a majority started as a traffic stop just like what happened to Nichols. 90% arrested were men. And of those cases, 90% were African-American. Yeah, that's who's hanging out in the middle of the street, dropping yeah. guns and trash cans and shit. Yeah. They said like white people, like white folks supposed to be around that bullshit. Like, I, I, these people are so annoying, man. I swear, like, we're annoying. The, me the, the media's annoying for fucking coddling us. This is fucking like annoying as fuck. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, man. Walking off, the police come, nigga, just walk off. Like, <laughs> like, what? It ain't bother me for nothing because I just walked off. <laughs> Shit. They put a stolen gun on Most me. Most <laughs> resulted in drug charges. Chief Davis has since scrapped the Scorpion unit. You saw a lot of arrests. You saw them fighting crime, but you also saw a lot of innocent people getting wrapped up in those arrests. And it's unfortunate that many of those people are African Americans. Man, I'm glad everything go with. As for Rister, he says his anger hasn't faded. Do you trust the police? No, nah, I really don't. I don't like the police at all. I never well, liked the police. If Just all the cops, I really can't something on this channel. time. <laughs> I'm this time I'm putting something on this motherfucker. I go, yeah, you going to jail, motherfucker. Fuck this motherfucker. Tidy y'all shit, man. You hate us? After you.